a look at our hardest problem. If you need help with it, stick around. I've got you. Although these questions feel like they're written in a foreign language, don't worry. I have a quick way to help them make sense for you. Now, tap pause to try problem one on your own. Let's go! Solve your math problems. As always, start by using my what's the most important word strategy. So jump to the word what or which in this problem and look at the sentence that has the question in it. And look for the math vocabulary word that helps you get going on the problem. Or if there's no math vocabulary word, try to condense that sentence down into just one or two words. So in this problem, I feel like it's the best interpretation of which is a very common question on the SAT. Um, what I like to do is just condense the problem down into defining the variables. And in this problem, there's two different variables. There's f of h, and then there's h. And I always believe in doing the easiest part of a problem first. So what's easier, understanding what f of h means or what h means? In my opinion, understanding what h is, is easier. And if you read through, it says, its height is h feet. Well, that makes sense. Height starts with an h. Now, the other variable we need to figure out is what f of h means. Well, the letter f doesn't really have anything to do with this problem, and that's what makes this a little more confusing. So look through that first sentence and try and find a math vocabulary word so that you can understand what f of h is. And really, the only word in there that's really helpful is the fact that it's saying that it's the area. And now we can go ahead and try and use the numbers they gave us in the problem to figure out the answer. So look at the very last part there, f of 11 equals 1,089. That's what I call an ordered pair in disguise. If you just put parentheses in there, and change it into an ordered pair, it says 11 comma 1089. And so 11 is like the X value and 1089 is the Y value. And so that's your ordered pair. The 11 is the height and the 1089 is kind of like the Y value or the F of H value. So as we look at our answer choices, we're looking for an answer choice that has a height of 11 and an area of 1,089. And of course, that is just choice A. So let's take a quick look back at that problem. The key is to simplify what the variables mean. And so since H was the height and F of H was the area, as we looked at the ordered pair in disguise, we can see that 11 is the height and 1,089 is the area. Now, Tap pause to try problem two on your own. Well, this problem is very similar to the last one. So let's just take the same approach and summarize our variables. We've got two variables, f of t and t. Again, I think t is easier to understand. What is t? Well, the first sentence tells us t is the number of years after 2000. So I'm going to summarize that down here. And then it says f of t is the value of the investment. And let's head on down to the ordered pair in disguise. The 2 is a value for what? t or f of t? The time or the value? 2 is a value for t. So the years are going to be the year 2002. And then 6050 is the value for f of t. So the answer is b. Okay, we've got one problem left. If you just got a little bit smarter, please like this video. And because I can't explain 12 years of math in 10 minutes, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to share with your friends. Now, tap pause to try problem three on your own. Figure out what is T and what is M of T. And so T here is the number of days 
that the cheese has been in the sun, and M of T is the mass. And now we look for our ordered pair in disguise. Well, they actually didn't give us an ordered pair this time. They only gave us M of zero. So is that zero the mass, or is that zero the number of days? Well, it's the number of days. So if T is zero, what that means is that's the starting amount. It's like the y-intercept. So that's going to be the initial mass of the cheese. All right, I hope that helps you on test day. Please subscribe so you won't miss any of my videos, and most importantly, improve your SAT score. A link to practice problems is in the description below. Please practice.